If Crimson Mage's attacking creatures aren't blocked, you will take damage. Your Colonian Tusker can keep you safe. Creatures with summoning sickness can block. Block the crazed goblin! Yes, that is that is one of the exceptions about it. That a creature with summoning sickness can block. It's, uh, that rule has always been like that with magic. Why is that? I have no idea. You would think it would be the same. Like, well, if During it can't attack and it can't use its abilities, it shouldn't be able to block. But, <laughs> believe me, this it's time, fine with me. You're, you're in situations in certain games time. that Crazed you end up die, and the wanting will survive. your creature to be able to block. Especially if it just came out. And now it's going to go through a little animation. I turned that off for my gameplay, but since it's a tutorial, it's still gonna show it. At the end of every turn, each creature heals. Any damage dealt to them is removed. You don't have to keep track of damage from turn to turn. That is true. The damage that he received there, as you can see, he is a number two in his toughness, which he was originally three. Um, unlike other games like Hearthstone or anything like that, they lose their toughness they keep going down and down they never regain they don't heal and magic your creatures will heal by the end of your turn play or by the end land. of the turn at hand okay play another land can't do anything with it but now i will be attacking now it's our chance to attack crimson mage And we hit him for three, so that would bring him down to 17. Because he doesn't have any creatures to block with, Crimson Mage will take three points of damage. You don't have any spells that you can cast for now, so let's pass the turn. He casts their uh, Blood Crave. It's a vampire. Attacks each turn if able. And whenever she does combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter onto it. So if she does physical damage to me, she would get a plus one plus one counter, which she would become a 3 2 at that moment. Alright, let's play another land. Now we could play the Rumbling Belias. Time to attack! Send your Colonian Tusker into combat. Remember that you can't attack with- It's important to know that, in magic, you can only decide that your creatures are attacking an opponent. You don't have control over which of your opponent's creatures will block. Unless the card says otherwise, blocked creatures deal all damage to the creatures that blocked them. No damage is dealt to the defending player. Blocking with small creatures to not take any damage is sometimes a good strategy. Yep, that is true. Unless otherwise, like she said, the card indicates, which she's pretty much saying if a card has trample, like let's say my my beast had trample and he's hitting for three her vampire will absorb one of the hit so those two remaining go over her and hit the player that's what trample does but he doesn't have trample so he's hitting for three so he's just gonna hit the vampire for one and that's gonna end the attacking phase which is fine though because she loses her creature it dies and mine does not Here, Cyclops, Blood Rock Cyclops. It attacks each turn if able. This time, we're gonna try something a little different. Instead of playing your land and casting a spell, pretty much what she wanted me to do is instead of playing my land in my first main step and casting a spell, I should attack first, which I'm gonna attack with everyone. It looks like Crimson Mage has decided not to block with his Bloodrock Cyclops. 
so he'll take seven damage. Awesome. Basically, the whole thing here was she was trying to teach you is you're tricking your opponent in a way because you didn't play anything your first main step. You skipped your first main step. You went straight into your combat phase and you attacked with all your creatures, which indicate that you're leaving yourself open because your tap creature is going to not block. So it's showing your opponent that you would be wide open and he could absorb the hit. But for during his turn, he could hit me without any hesitation with the 3-3 three, three creature and bring me down to 17. That's what I'm showing him. But the other thing too, as a magic player, and I'm pretty sure if you're playing against a current magic player, he knows too at the same time, this is one of the oldest tricks in the books that magic players do. As yes, he might have not blocked, but I have another main face. And he knows I could put my land down then and cast any spells or creature spells or whatever during that main phase. So it just it just all depends on the moment and the player knows. I'm sure he's gonna be trying to take he's taking it all into consideration because how the way you play this game is like if you're playing a chess game. This is why I love this game. You have to think couple move couple turns ahead not During moves just a couple phase, turns ahead combat, of what could happen and, and a couple of moves because if you're like if I do this he could do this and if he does that then I'll do this you know it's just you have to think about what he could have in his deck and what he can potentially do if you do something because there's always like they say you know there's always consequences you do something there's a consequence of, of it of doing that something so now is my next main phase as you can see here down the left hand corner next to my profile picture i'm on my second main phase i will play my land be in great shape and i could play my centaurs they're three seven so if he would attack with his bloodwork cyclops I could absorb that hit with that player because he's a 3-7. His toughness is 7. He's playing another land. And I will block. And I will kill his creature. See, like I say, it's the computer and it's for the sake of tutorial, just showing you. That person, and I don't, and I even believe that the AI itself will not, would not have attack at that time. But for the sake of the tutorial, it's just showing you what could happen. But an experienced player, and I'm pretty sure the AI, how smart it is, it would not have attacked, but now I will attack with everyone to end this game, to end this tutorial. But this is pretty much the basics, ladies and gentlemen. Just it's pretty much the beginning basics of magic. This is all you really need to know. If, if you learn how the turn by turn works, you know how to play the game. There is no after that. Once you learn the basics, you. You learn everything else after that. Because after that is just pretty much learning the cards and what they do, what their specific abilities are, because there is so, so much in magic. As in specific abilities and specific things that certain cards could do. That's pretty much where it comes down to it. Um, as if you can see here, I already completed all these quests, so. Uh, my next video, since this was a test video, but I might be putting it up anyways, um, it was not going to be the second quest tutorial. I'm going to start playing the video game, be the campaign, and I will be showing you guys from there. You guys will see the different cards, different abilities they do, and I will be showing you guys, talking to you guys on how to do things and just playing the game. You know, I would explain why I do certain things and stuff. No, that's pretty much it. Um, there it is, the campaign there. But yeah, my next video will be about that. We'll start off for the first mission and 
hopefully we will win right away. <laughs> but it is a video game and I really, it doesn't bother me if I lose even the first time. I'm not a sore loser and I just love playing this game. Win or lose is it's the funniest game ever. I love this game. Me and my friends get together every Monday and we play this physical, the physical game. Uh, and but we even play the video game because we all own it on the 360 or the PC. We all own the game, so well, we all just bought it since it did just come out. Well, thank you for in joining me for an another exciting episode of LT Pooby Gaming. Uh, my next video for Magic will be the, the first mission of the campaign. Uh, but I think another video that I'm going to be doing would be a Hearthstone later. And I will be putting that up. Um, well, thank you for joining me. And you guys have a very pleasant day. And remember, life is what it is. Unless you do something to change it. Thank you.